Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 13 where we are learning a great deal on surface areas and volumes. This is episode number 6 and today we are going to find out volume of a right circular cone. Now friends, whenever we talk about volume of any object regardless of its shape or size, what is important to note is that volume of any object is equal to the amount of space that is occupied by the object. This is how we define the volume of any object. Now sometimes the object may be hollow or empty from inside. We talked about earlier as an example if you look at a room which is in the shape of a cuboid inside of the room is empty. So what if the room or any object is empty then in that case what happens is we can, if the object is hollow or empty, then the object can be filled with air or gas or any other liquid. In that case, the volume of the object can also be expressed in terms of how much substance, whether it is a liquid or gas, that we can fill into the object. Because the inside is empty, we can potentially put some air or any other gas or any other kind of liquid into the object. So then the volume of the object can also be expressed in terms of capacity of the object. Capacity is nothing but how much of the substance the object can hold. That is the capacity of an object. So it's important because whenever we talk about volume, also oftentimes the term capacity is referred to to mean the same thing. So I wanted to make sure that you were aware of this. Now let's go back to right circular cone. Now the two most important dimensions that we absolutely need to know for a right circular cone they are the radius which is the radius of the base circle and second is the height which is the height of the cone from the base to the very top. What is the height? If we know H and if we know R we can find out the volume of a right circular cone. Similarly we can find out the surface area of a right circular cone. So the volume of a right circular cone will be equal to 1 by 3 times pi r square h. I have just mentioned this uh, for completeness sake that L is a slant height. This length is L, this is h and this is r. So you can think of this triangle which is formed by the dotted lines and this solid line as a right triangle. And applying Pythagoras theorem, we can say L square, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to H square plus R square. The reason I said that is because sometimes if you know two of the three, if you know L, H or R, two of the three, you can find out the third one. 